The automat, popularized in the early 20th century, can be considered an early precursor to the fast food model. Its self-service format and quick, affordable meals set the stage for the later development of the fast food industry in the United States. Today, we explore the rise and fall of the automat on tidbits of history. On December 22, 1888, Joseph Horn and Frank Hardart opened their first restaurant in Philadelphia. Nestled at 3739 South 13th Street, the modest establishment boasted a mere 15 seats. The restaurant swiftly garnered popularity, attributed to its introduction of a novel style of drip coffee. Legend has it that the initial patron exclaimed to Mr. Horn, you serve the finest cup of coffee I have ever tasted, setting the stage for their culinary acclaim. In the late 1890s, Joseph Horn, while on a trip in Europe, experienced a revolutionary new form of restaurant known as the Automat in Berlin, Germany. Inspired by the success and decor of this new form of food service that eliminated wait staffs but still served high-quality fresh food, Horn persuaded his partner Frank Hardart to open the first Automat in the U.S., which made its debut on June 9, 1902, in Philadelphia. Ten years later, the first New York Automat opened in Times Square on July 2, 1912, and later that week a third opened at Broadway and East 14th Street near Union Square. By the 1950s, Horn and Hardart operated over 100 locations in New York City, Philadelphia, and Chicago. During its heyday, over 800,000 people ate at a Horn and Hardart Automat each day, making it the world's largest restaurant chain. The name Automat derives from the Greek word automatos, which means self-acting. But these mid-century machines didn't run on their own. Instead, restaurant employees kept the machine running smoothly from behind the glass and metal walls. One assembly line of workers baked and cooked, while another line filled empty slots on the machines with new dishes. A third set of workers cleaned dirty dishes. The most visible employees at the automat were nickel throwers, women stationed in glass booths who handed out change to operate the machines. After receiving the change, customers would walk up to the vending windows, deposit the appropriate amount, and turn the porcelain brass knob, the compartment open to present the desired food to the customer through a small glass door. Automats dished out comforting home-style cuisine, featuring an array of hot and cold entrees, desserts, and beverages. Some boasted a full wall dedicated to pies, spanning savory pot pies to sweet fruit delights, alongside mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, salads, and sandwiches. Horn and Hardart, committed to freshness, ensured any remaining food at day's end found its way to affordable outlet stores. With an extensive menu offering nearly 400 items, the promise was clear. There was something for every diner, from discerning children to Wall Street bankers. Although the food got the attention, the Automat's real secret weapon was its coffee. Horn Hardart popularized fresh drip brewed coffee. Prior to the Automat, coffee was often harsh and bitter, boiled and clarified with eggshells. The Automat's smooth, aromatic brew flowed regally from ornate brass spigots. In their heyday, Automats sold over 90 million cups of their fresh brewed coffee each year. Automats were popular with a wide variety of patrons, including Audrey Hepburn, Irving Berlin, and other celebrities of the era. The New York Automats were also popular with unemployed songwriters and actors. Playwright Neil Simon called Automats the maxims of the disenfranchised in a 1987 article. Automats appeared to herald the future, but come 1960, they were deemed outdated. Initially, the first automats vied with full-service restaurants at the turn of the 20th century. However, as the final decades of the century unfolded, they found themselves outpaced by quicker alternatives like takeouts and drive throughs Establishments like McDonald's and Burger King supplanted the traditional meatloaf and pie offerings of the automat. Interestingly, in the 1970s, Horn and Hardart even replaced some of their own automats with Burger King franchises. The final chapter of Horn and Hardart came in 1991 with the closure of its last location. Horn and Hardart pioneered a streamlined method for making large amounts of food in a short period of time and at an affordable price. 
By removing waiters, Automats created a tip-free dining experience, which fast food chains soon replicated. It seemed drive throughs were a natural next step following the Automat. Indeed, fast food and fast casual restaurants stand as the memorial to the Automat's promise of convenient, efficient dining.